up guys my name is Ivan and in today's video I'm gonna be uh, showing you guys how you can record Roblox on OBS studio uh, absolutely free and there won't be any lag and I, I had also made a video like this before and I'm, I'm just making an updated tutorial to that same video um, because I don't want any problems it was the last time some of you complained that uh, it was lagging a bit but now I promise it won't lag as much and that video is the first video that I ever posted to hit 1000 views and uh, right now it has 1000 views and I think that's really cool I mean 1000 views I mean thank you guys so much for that and if only I would got that many subscribers I mean that would have been really cool guys um, so anyway guys, I'm, I'm gonna display the video that I had posted and um, I'm gonna be uh, uh, Showing you guys how you can record Roblox with OBS studio without any lag So let's get right into the video Okay guys, so to record Roblox without any lag first of all what you got to do is you need to uh, go to scenes And once you're on scenes you need to click this tiny plus icon uh, So now once you click this plus icon you, you can just name it anything But I already have a scene name so it's called scene 2 And in on the sources you need to click plus And you need to click game capture So once you click game capture something like this should appear and you need to select capture specific window and you need to select roblox player beta.exe uh, like this and you need to click this i don't know what this is but you just select it and then you need to click ok so once you guys have done this you need to click on settings now once you click on settings you need to click on output now once you're on output you need to click recording and select the type as standard do not click this this is just very dumb and i don't know what that is then so uh, then uh, as the recording path um uh, just choose the folder where you want your recordings to be and then just enter the url so now that that's done um select the record uh, select the recording format as mp4 as, as it's the most widely known form then click on encoder and use x264 i have quicksync h.264 uh, but in this tutorial i'm going to be using um x264 do not check this button do not check this uh, just let it be um it should be the default option then on rate control uh, select cbr because it's the uh, most easily and it it just makes the recording uh better and it prevents most of the lag then you need to select bitrate to 50,000 Like, uh, don't make it less, don't make it more, just make it 50,000 Or if your PC is uh, a good PC, just make it 60,000 or 70,000 My PC can handle like uh, 100,000, like uh, 100,000, but I just uh, keep it as 50,000 Then make your key keyframe interval as 2 Because that's the most, uh, like, that's the most decent option then select the CPU uses preset as uh, ultra fast and just leave profile as t and tune as none because you don't really need that. Then click on video and keep the base canvas resolution as 1920x1080. It should be a default option but uh, 3840x2160 is my default option but just keep it to 1920x1080. And then the rescale output you should also select as 1920x1080. Uh, click the downscale filter and make it Langzos Then keep the common FPS value as 60 and just leave this as common FPS value Then you need to click on advanced and make the process priority to above normal Do this because it'll make your uh, videos You'll try to make the videos much better and it'll just improve your performance overall Then as re uh, retry delay just scroll, scroll it down and you'll find it then uh, as we try delay uh just select it to 15 and maximum retries you need to keep it as 20. uh okay 20 and once you guys have done this just click apply and by the way guys i forgot to mention this but once you have done all the steps just click apply or else it won't save like even here then as hotkey just select uh, the start recording and stop recording as shift plus r 
So when your OBS Studio is open and you click Shift and R, your recording will automatically start instead of you just uh, going manually and clicking Start Recording. So basically guys, that's everything you need to do to get extremely good Roblox recording. The lag also shouldn't be uh, like too much. The lag will be there if your PC is a bit old, but I don't think there should be any lag. So now, uh, now with these settings, I'm gonna play Arsenal recording. So Arsenal is a Roblox game, and I'm pretty sure all of you know of what Arsenal is. But with Arsenal, uh, what happens is that the uh, on Arsenal, when you try to record, it usually lags a lot. But with these settings, I don't think we should have any lag. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna play an Arsenal recording, and I shall see you guys next time. So cool. Sad. So cool. So cool. Shut the fuck up, Sad. So cool.